On this account, we started as a level one in GTA Online, and the only way I made money was by spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will continue our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online to reach a luxurious state finally. So welcome to episode 81 of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So we are on part three of the finale for Loser to Luxury. We have two more episodes to go, including including this one. And we are trying to buy our final item, which is the most expensive item in GTA Online, which is going to be the Aquarius Super Yacht, which is the most expensive super yacht in the game. And it's gonna come in at $10 million. And currently right now, we're sitting on $2,637,000. And you're probably thinking right now, Dr. Crutch, you still need to make three quarters of that $10 million. And you have to do that within the next two episodes, which yeah, we will definitely hit that $10 million mark. But today we are going to be be revisiting the Pacific Standard Heist. We haven't touched this heist since one of the earlier episodes, I think within the first 20 episodes of Loser Luxury. And we're sitting on episode 81, so it has definitely been a long time. So we are going to revisit the Pacific Standard Heist. We're going to start one up and we're going to complete it all the way through in this video. Now, the issue with the Pacific Standard Heist is to just get people. That's an issue. And I'm filming this on a weekday when not as many people are playing. But here we go. I'm going to try to do the Pacific Standard job. Hopefully people join. Now, I'm going to cheese a little bit. Last episode, I played the Doomsday Scenario all by myself, which essentially meant I had this account and then I had another account in that I was controlling. I'm doing sort of the same thing here. For all the setups, I'm going to have my Season 1 account for Loser to Luxury in, and then we still need two randoms. And for the finale, I'm going to sub out my Season 1 character for someone else. All right, so we got enough people to actually start out this heist, but some people get a little faked out by this little intro. Because sometimes when they join this, they think this is going to be the finale. But anyways, yeah, Lester is pretty much saying, hey, we are going to start up a heist, and he's being weird. But, you know, whatever i'm skipping it all right so essentially for the pacific standard heist we have five setups that we have to do now i've done these setups so many times i used to do the pacific standard heist a ton back what 2015 2016 something like that so i am very comfortable with all of these setups the finale i'm not so comfortable with which that probably doesn't make any sense but i'll explain why once we get there but first we have to do a setup and for these setups instead of putting it on hard like how we did last episode i'm gonna put them on normal just because we have other people in I don't want these other people to leave. Okay, essentially for this one... Oh, God! I accidentally left. Shoot, that's on me. <laughs> I accidentally clicked A and B at the same time. Oh my god, that is so stupid of me. I haven't even started the heist yet. I'm doing stupid things. All right, so here we go. We are starting out with our first setup. This one is going to be the Pacific Standard Van setup. Now, this setup isn't really bad at all. I really don't have an issue with this one. Essentially, I'm a navigator, but um, <laughs> before I actually get into this setup, I need to try to get a thumbnail, so I hope no one gets pissed at me. The reason I'm doing it here is because the lighting is so perfect. Okay, I think I got my thumbnail. Yeah, no one's done a thing, which, I mean, this is not the end of the world, but whatever. I've purposely made myself a navigator, and I want to make myself a navigator because I can literally just go here, and I can go ahead and use the Trackify app to try to find where these vans are. Now, no one in this ice crew has done a single thing. I mean, yeah, technically, the way you're supposed to do this setup is that you're supposed to, as a navigator, get in the passenger seat, and then you're essentially, as a navigator, you're supposed to communicate with the person and driving exactly like where a van is. I just think that's so stupid. So instead, as a navigator, I like to just be both the navigator and a driver, if that makes sense. So essentially, the drivers, they really don't have to do anything. And you're not really doing much in the setup other than photographing vans. I mean, we'll get into something else a little bit later on, but you know, still not the craziest thing in the world. Ah, here's another van. This is the only time where I think someone else being the driver would be a little bit ideal just because I cannot get a good photo while this guy is driving. I have to like wait for a stoplight, but that's like the only issue. Okay, there we go. Second van down. I've gotten both vans. Yeah, all these setups I'm very, very used to because I used to do these setups so often. And there's even with the next setup, there's like a cheesy way that I learned recently. I kind of want to try it. There we go. Here's third van. Can you accept this? Even though I didn't. Oh, dang. They actually didn't allow me to get that. Wow. Okay. Sometimes the game will allow you to do stupid stuff like that, but they didn't that time. Fair play, I guess. There we go. Finally. Didn't get the full license plate, but got enough of it. All right. Here's our last van right here, though. Well, bam. There we go. Photograph all the post op vans. Ready, set, pop. <gasps> <laughs> Bro. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, that last van that we photographed was the one that we need to steal. So I'm gonna have to do it like that. Then we're gonna take the van, we're gonna lose the cops, and then take it to Lester's factory, and then we should be good to go. Are you kidding me? I hit a bike rack? That's what flipped this stupid van? A bike rack? Come on, game. The stupid stuff like that really pisses me off. Like, you run into a bush, and the bush, instead of acting like a bush, acts more like a freaking concrete slab. Just stupid. Yeah, literally with my season one account, we're just... Excuse me, how did I just get the cops on me again? I know I drove right past some, like, some cops. I didn't do anything illegal. Anyways, my season one account, we're literally just standing there. Here, I'll show you. Like, there's two of my teammates right here, then there's me, and then here's my Here's season one account just chilling. And we spawned in right there. All right, and there we go. Finally lost the cops. Get this cutscene with Paige. Pretty much saying, wow, you are so good at this, Dr. Crush. And I'm just like, I know. I know, ma'am. All right, and there we go. Setup number one has been passed. How did my season one account get gold? I just sat there. Other than getting a thumbnail, I didn't touch my season one account. Granted, I pretty much did everything this setup, but at least the other guys drove around and tried to help. Oh, well, let's move on to the next setup. All right, here we go. We're going into setup number two, which is going to be the signal setup. Now, the way I want to do this setup is going to be very, very different. Now, it's going to tell us to go to the meeting point. We don't actually have to go to the meeting point, and usually I already ignore that, but this time I'm going to ignore it in a very different way. I was doing research for the Criminal Mastermind Challenge for, like, every setup and whatnot, and apparently we can actually go ahead and get a helicopter, like how we can for the Diamond Casino Heist and the Union Depository contract. We can get a helicopter. Okay, well, we can't get a helicopter when someone acts leaves. That's fantastic. All right, we got another crew in together. Oh, well, it's not another crew. It's essentially me, myself, um, the person that left last time, actually. He came back. And then we have another guy, which the fun thing about this other guy is that it's the guy from the Criminal Mastermind Challenge video. And actually, well, we have two. The guy that accidentally left last time, which I know it's accidental. Sir Snacks a lot. He's in it. And then Hyper Ninja from the Criminal Mastermind Challenge video. So yeah, shout out to these boys. But yeah, so I guess we're getting practice in for whenever we want to do that Colonel Mastermind challenge again. But anyways, as I was saying, the first attempt we try to do this is that I want to try and get the helicopter. According to people, the helicopter does spawn in for this too. And I want to see if that's true or not. Because if we can get a helicopter spawn in for this mission, then it's going to be so easy. Like this could be the biggest cheese strat of all time. <laughs> oh man, it's right here. Yeah, anyways, the way that they want want you to go is they want you to go to the Chumash area and then get some sea sharks and then kind of just boat like halfway up the map to an island. The way that I usually did it was that I pretty much just drove as close to the island as possible and then there was like sea sharks right off the beach close to that island. So we just took the sea sharks there. But I mean now we have a helicopter so this is an absolute game changer. I'm sure Hyper Ninja and Sir Snacks a lot are so confused right now and I don't blame them. I don't blame them for being so confused. I am in a helicopter. They are on jet skis. They're probably like, uh-huh. It literally says go to the sea sharks. It doesn't say go to the helicopter. You don't have to. Yeah, look at them. They're just on their sea sharks right there, just boating all the way up. All right, so there's the island right there. You can see a helicopter in the air. I can't take it out because I'm in a police maverick, which doesn't have explosives on it. And you want to be sure, at least from what I've heard, to park this helicopter like far away from Avi Schwartzman, because if you get it too close to Avi Schwartzman, then it's most likely going to despawn. All right, so now I have to take out a bunch of enemies. I'm still the first one there, and I had to drive out of my way just to get the helicopter. I mean, there probably was some other spots to pick up the helicopter. I'm just very, very comfortable with getting it from that one spot. And then we want to make sure that I actually pick up Avi Schwartzman, because if I can actually pick up Avi Schwartzman, that can carry him to the helicopter, or force him to follow me to the helicopter, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just hearing my other teammates get to the island now, and I've taken out probably like 60 to 75% of the people here. You just put in the team on my back. You know how it is. Just some normal Dr. Crush stuff, you know? Okay, there we go. I literally took out everyone, I'm pretty sure. And there we go. I've made it over to where Avi Schwartzman is. So now we get this cutscene. But this cutscene pretty much is saying, hey, Avi's gonna follow me. And I want Avi to follow me to the helicopter. I hope there's not an issue. I will say, I just left my season one account just in the helicopter. So I don't know if that's a factor, if it's gonna stay spawned in or not. See, okay, yeah, now we're in here, but 
we're not going to actually drive that boat. We're going to get back in that helicopter if it's still here. Aha! It's still here. It is still here. All right. Okay, Avi, you're being a little stupid. Avi, you're being dumb. Okay, there we go. For some reason, he didn't want to follow me anymore. Yeah, okay. Now Avi's following me. So pretty much all we have to do now is get in this helicopter. I'm going to get my season one account in this helicopter. Then we're going to fly away. So someone's not going to be able to get in the helicopter. So I am so sorry, sir. Snacks a lot. Okay, we're in the helicopter. Avi took a spot. So yeah, this helicopter's full. <laughs> now we just have to take Avi Schwartzman to the drop off. We have like a timer. I don't know. I assume that timer started at 10 minutes. So yeah, this is definitely the best way to do this setup. Like the other ways of doing this setup aren't that bad. Like you can park like a personal vehicle on the beach, very close to the island where there's sea sharks. And then like after you get that cutscene, you can just drive the boat back to the beach. And then you can have a personal vehicle like a Karuma or something like that. So you don't really get shot at. That's another good way too, but this is so much easier. There's no one shooting at me right now. Yeah, I can provide a lot of tips for these setups. It's just the finale, <laughs> not my favorite thing in the world. No way. Why in the world are helicopters spawning in on the side of a mountain on that hiking path? Like what? I'll show you what I'm talking about here. There's cop cars, not helicopters, cars on this path. Like what are we doing? That's just straight suicide for those cops. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can still evade them. It just makes no sense. Okay, there we go, finally lost the cops. So now we can just take Avi Schwartzman to the drop off. All right, and there we go, setup pass. We have three more setups that we have to get into. All right, here we go. We're jumping into setup number three, which is going to be the Pacific Standard hacking setup. And this setup, there's another cheesy way that you can actually do this one. So yeah, I'm going to get in my armored Karuma right here. Instead of going to the van, like how it says on the map, we are going to go to, I think it's this alleyway. I'm pretty sure. Now you're probably asking yourself if you've never really done this heist before. You're like, Dr. Crutch, why would you go to that certain alleyway? Like what is happening at this certain alleyway? You know, Dr. Crutch, just stop messing around and get in the van. Ah, you think I'm messing around? No, 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 no. I'm being smart. I'm using my head. Wait, hold on. Actually, I'm going to switch seats. Let's season one drive and then season two will be in the passenger seat so I can get better shots. All right. Anyways, I've made it over to this alleyway and look, there's a bunch of enemies here. Why would you look at that? Now let's start taking these enemies out because we have to take out all these enemies. We quite literally have to take out these guys and I'm just going to take them out in the Karuma just straight off the bat. God, this is so weird to be driving a Karuma and then going on and taking out all these guys. I remember doing this cheese strat for this setup a long time ago when I used to do the Pacific Standard like all the time. Now you're probably thinking, Dr. Crush, why didn't you take your Vigilante? If you were to take your Vigilante instead of your armored Karuma, you'd probably blow up the van that we need to steal, which is not good. We need the van. So if you accidentally blow up the van, well then you just fail the mission. So obviously we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Yeah, finally my teammates are here. They brought the van also. Okay, and now we are actually going to get into the van. So yeah, now we need to take the van to Vinewood Boulevard. Ha 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 ha. So funny. So funny game. We were kind of already here, but it's okay. Oh, Hyper. Hyper, you can't back anything. Hyper, you just ran into a bollard. My goodness, Hyper. Dan just backed into a car. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've taken out everyone already. So yeah, all we have to do is just park the white van. It usually will say you have to take out a bunch of guys, but there's no one to take out now. And there we go. We have brought the van right here. So now for this setup, they're going to do the old switcheroo. They're going to switch out this thing with one of our things. Okay, so now the decoys, which includes one of my accounts, have to leave right now. And I am here in the white van just waiting for them to leave. And then I'll just make it back safely. I think the game wants the people that own that van, that black van, to think that we were trying to steal that black van, even though we weren't. We were trying to steal one specific thing from that black van. And we just put it into our van, which they don't know exists. You know, I'm kind of thinking about it now, since we're doing this with people that I kind of know. I'm going to actually use my secondary account for the finale, which is going to be a little bit interesting, but we'll still get it to work. All right, but yeah, this is all I had to do. I had to park this white van underneath this bridge, and then Paige is going to be like, wow, that's a nice thing. Okay, so we're done here, and we just have to wait for the decoys to destroy the black van, which I'm watching them right now with my other account. The rail gun. Okay, and there we go. Destroyed it with the rail gun, and we destroyed that setup. Set up pass. Holy crap, I keep getting platinum. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though, because I'm kind of cheesing this like to my own favor. But anyways, we have two more steps we have to get into.
All right, here we go. We are doing the bike setup right here, which usually most people would do this one last. I'm doing this one second to last because I want to save the hardest setup as our final one. Once again, I'm getting into my Karuma instead of the Vigilante because we don't want to accidentally blow up these bikes. We have to go ahead and steal bikes just in case you didn't get it from the title. All right, so first things first, we have to drive over to the Lost MC Clubhouse, which is right here. We're going to run into Hyper Ninja for fun. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just take out a bunch of people. Yeah, this one's going to be a little interesting. This is going to be the first, like, interesting, like, situation with me using two accounts. We really haven't run into any issues because I could just control the setup just with one account. This one, everyone pretty much is going to have to drive a bike. All right, anyways, yeah, I'm going to get... Oh, okay, Hyper Ninja died. He, he's something with dying. All right, anyways, yeah, we have to deliver the Electro back to the drop-off. And right now, my other character is just quite literally sitting in that Karuma still. So I'm going to have to deliver this bike and then... Once we deliver this bike, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to control my other character and deliver the last bike. This is probably the quickest setup out of any of these setups. And in my opinion, probably the second easiest one. But still, some people might have a little issue with it. See, so look, and there we go. We have made it over to the drop off. So now let me control the season one account and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Wait, what happened? Oh my God, dude. What was wrong with my guy's face? It had blood all over his face. Oh my God, this game is so gruesome. Oh, whoa. I only got nine kills wow i think hyper ninja at least according to the map i think he crashed the bike and then he kind of got into a shootout with a bunch of guys he went the wrong route okay so i'll explain this i'll explain this kind of in depth i didn't really do a good job or even even attempted to explain the exact route you want to take just because the setup was so quick but yeah i'll show you the exact route i want all y'all to take because the route that he took there's going to be more people coming after you we don't want that we don't want that but anyways we have to go and take out a bunch of people once again so i gotta go ahead and do that i think pretty much everyone's been taken out so i'm gonna show you the exact route I want you to take. So hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. So instead of taking a right like how it recommends you do, I recommend you go this way and then take a right here and then follow this route. The map will readjust. And yeah, there are going to be some people coming after you, but it's not going to be as much as it is going the way they initially suggest you to go. And then if you're the person up front, there's going to be more people coming after you too. Because I remember that first attempt, there really wasn't anyone after me. And there was people this time around. All right, so I have to control my other account now and we can go ahead and finish this setup all right and there we go we finally made it back and there we go setup pass so we have one more setup to get into oh my i'm bronze oh my bronze i'm trying to think about this like my other account i don't think even killed more people than i did there on my main account i don't know that's so weird it's rigged if you ask me anyways yeah we got one more setup to do so let's get into that all right so we're jumping into our final setup which is going to be the convoy setup now this is going to be the hardest setup out of all of these setups and this is why i wanted to save this one specifically for last <laughs> dude watch this ready set <laughs> That is just too funny. Like, I'm in the bully mobile. I'm so sorry, Hyper. That is just too funny. I can't resist. Oh, yeah. And by the way, like, in between setups, my main account doesn't spawn in with any of my teammates, but my secondary account does. And literally, right after we do a setup, I go ahead and I just beat up Hyper Ninja. <laughs> Like, I do the glitch punch strat. It's just too funny. I'm so sorry. Anyways, we have to go to the ambush point. And, bro, I'm just messing around with Hyper Ninja. We talked a decent amount when we did the criminal mastermind challenge. And, yeah, he's a pretty chill guy. So, it's all jokes. Yeah, this one's going to be interesting. Because the way I would prefer to do it in a perfect scenario, I cannot do here. And it's not because of my season one account and me having to manage both accounts. The way I would prefer to do this, which would be so easy, I would need a Mark II heavy sniper with explosive rounds which I do not have. It's kind of silly to even get it because you have to like do research through your bunker or just buy research outright, which is a little bit annoying. So yeah, we never did that for loser to luxury and we will never do that for loser to luxury. But in a perfect scenario, I would like to use that and I would like to have used that to take out the savage that comes and tries to destroy us because these savages, which are the helicopters that come after us during this mission are incredibly brutal. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> dude. Hyper Ninja just messaged me. The bullying of 
where the jet incident is understandable. Dude, I don't really care. It's just so funny. It is just so freaking funny. Loki, just for jokes, I just kind of want to send his car into the freaking water. Okay, finally, Hyper Ninja just arrived. Hey, he just ran over. Hey, 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 do you really want to run over, Sir Snacks? I could send this thing. Oh, 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 I see. I see what you're doing. Now they're both in here. Dude, I want to send his car into the water. How am I going to do this? Bro, he's backing up. Dude, I think he's aware that I'm about to just send his car into the water. Hey, hold on. Wait, ready, set. Uh-oh. Backfired. No, we're good. 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 We need to take out that helicopter. We need to take out the helicopter. We need to focus up for a second. Okay, there we go. Oh, never mind. They can eat a shot. I forgot that. Just, just die. Just die. How? Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm going to let my teammates take everyone out because the reinforce... Okay. Well, Hyper Ninja died. Dude, Hyper Ninja, he is on a cold streak. Let's just put it at that. He is on a cold streak. Dude, I am not helping at all right now. Dude, what is wrong with the convoy? The convoy is like on fire. I'm going to actually have to help for a second. I got you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Have no fear. Dr. Crush is here. Okay. Okay. Now they're getting in the truck. So yeah, we have to help deliver the truck to the drop off. Yeah, there's going to be savages that come after for us so there's one like right there i kind of have to like pay attention to okay there's a savage right there we need to take this savage out now there we go oh how is that savage still up how many shots can the savage bro there we go the savage is finally dead wow i took three shots i didn't want to be in a vigilante earlier because you can blow up a convoy which is the vehicle that they're driving right now yeah and we need to take that convoy to a specific location we didn't want to blow up the convoy but we need to take out a bunch of different vehicles and whatnot hey no 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 no, no. i'm trying to help you i'm trying to help you right now i swear i swear there we go okay another savage has been taken out nice okay i'll save you yeah 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 i blow up everyone yeah for this part of the mission though vigilante is great all right so we destroyed destroyed Meriwether or we escaped them. So now we need to help deliver the truck to the drop off. I'll help. Hold on. Give him a boost. You know, nice boost. Bro, I'm such a good teammate. Who would want a better teammate than me? Oh, I deserve snacks a lot. Was it the back? He got thrown out. That is hilarious. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want a prank. I want a big prank. Okay. We're going to get right here. And then when they arrive, I'm going to boost. Ready, set, bam. Oh, that, never mind. That was such a letdown. Okay. Well, we did it. Oh my God. They had me as the driver. That is so cheesy. What objective? did I just get? Mastermind? You earn 25 platinum medals across high setups? Oh, of course I'm platinum. I had to kill like five savages. But there we go. Set up pass. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a spoiler alert that we just got. But platinum as always. But now it's time for us to get into the finale. All right, here we go. We're actually starting up the finale right here. We get this cutscene, but we don't need to look at this cutscene. All right, here we go. Uh, So this is how I'm going to do this specific one. I'm going to make myself this season two account that you're watching right now i'm gonna make the season two account crowd control i'm gonna make hyper ninja hacker yeah i'll make hyper ninja hacker and yeah should be good to go all right but here we go we are starting up the pacific standard heist right here now earlier i said this is a heist i did all the time back in like 2015 and 2016 but back then we actually had a glitch that made the pacific standard job very very easy but it is not in effect anymore and that glitch was the armored karuma glitch now hold on hold on hyper is driving my car uh i have to mess around with them per usual oh, i just gave him a boost now i'm pretty sure there's like a six car like apartment and garage that's like really really close to the pacific standard bank if you own that garage and store karuma in it you could access that garage during the finale so like we would just pull out our karuma instead of taking the electros okay we made it <laughs> But anyways, yeah, we took the Karuma instead of taking the Electros. It just made it so much easier. But I stopped playing GTA for a little bit. And since I stopped playing GTA until I came back, they patched that glitch. So we can't do it. So we got to do it a completely different way. But yeah, we have to take out the security guards right now. I am right now on my season one account since I'm demolition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plant charges down. Now, I think the best strategy to do for the Pacific Standard Heist now is to actually just take out some of these guys. I want dead people. Yeah, I want this button to be hit. I want that. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. And you'll see why. You'll see why we want that. Dude, that sucks. I was trying to send a message to Hyper Ninja telling him that I want to collect all the cash on my secondary account. And you'll see why in a little bit. But in the process of that, I got shot and died. Yeah, but here we go. Let's try this heist again. All right, so yeah, once again, just take out the hostages. Just keep taking out hostages before they actually ring the bell. We want the alarm to be set off. You'll see why in a little bit. Oh, who said this would be the worst way to die, huh? 
It wasn't you, it was a woman. I think we've taken out everyone. I actually think everyone's dead. What a perfect crowd control. There's no crowd to actually control if you take them all out. But anyways, my secondary account is about to grab a bunch of cash. See, we're gonna go down here and actually look at it. See, look, there's our season one account going. Grabbing all the cash. I see you, big dog. I see you. Yeah, look at that. Look at the way he grabs cash. You know, he has like a nice athletic stance, has a good bend in his knees, picking up one individual stack at a time. Okay, there we go. All the cash has been collected. So now we need to regroup near the bank exit. All right, and here we are. We have made it to the bank exit. And you see those vans? That is actually the SWAT team because, oh, my game game. No, no. That's a funny way of cutting open a freaking door or a tie on the door. Freaking having a combat MG in hand while it's glitched through the freaking door. Yeah, great. Idiots. So yeah, now we have to take out all these guys. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't even think I said this. We're doing this heist on hard. We did all the setups on normal. We're doing this on hard. All right, so yeah, the season one account, I walked out of the bank and then I walked right back in because it wants you to get out of the bank, but I just already took care of that. And we're literally just staying in the bank with our season one account while our season two account is gonna run over here get this checkpoint run this way i want you to follow this exact route or else you're gonna have to take out a lot more cops than you really have to get that checkpoint eat some snacks in the process walk this way uh someone didn't hit the checkpoints right because i hear their little buzzer going off that's fantastic yeah someone didn't hit the checkpoints right i can literally hear them beeping yeah so now we have to get to the getaway bikes and you're probably thinking why are we failing right here and it's because the crowd control team failed so that means someone one didn't actually hit the checkpoint okay so they didn't follow the exact route that i did okay i don't think i explained that very well so at least you'll get another attempt to pretty much see exactly the route i want you to take i was kind of explaining what i was doing with my season one account essentially recap what season one accounts doing it grabs all the cash and for this if you get shot the cash is going to go down and obviously we don't want our potential take in the bottom right to go down yeah both of these teammates they have freaking rail guns so they can easily just take out all these enemies all right there we go. I exited the bank with my season one account. Now we're just hiding in the bank. So I'm going to show you the exact path. We're going to go this way. And it wants you to go this way anyways. But then once you get here, it's going to get pretty interesting. See, they want to go that way. I want to go this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to hop this fence, flop down here, face plant, get up, go down here, eat some snacks because we need some snacks. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, good aiming. Okay, good. Now go this way a little bit so you make sure you hit that checkpoint. You want to try to like when you go this way, just go a little bit and make sure you hit the checkpoints and then continue on this route like how I just did. So now we go this way. Now there's going to be a SWAT van right there. Good grenade. Another good grenade. Sir Snacks lot died. Awesome. Just in case you want to see it again, I'll show you again. All right, here we go. Once again, I'll show you the route. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go down here. I'm not even paying attention to any of these guys. I mean, okay, I'll take... Oh God, that was not good aiming. I'll take out these guys. Sure, whatever. Eat some snacks because I need to eat some snacks. Then we're going to go this way. And as I was saying earlier, make sure you try when going this way to kind of revert back a tad bit so you make sure you hit the checkpoint once you hit the checkpoint then go back on this route so hit the checkpoint there now we can keep going and we jump down here run this way make sure we hit the checkpoint then keep running this way there's a method to the madness and i can already hear one of my teammates didn't do that i hope they're watching this so now we just continue following the getaway route i didn't even take out the helicopter i'm just gonna send it okay anyways yeah i'm way ahead of my teammates right now but i want to be so what i want to do now is i want to destroy all these bikes and i want to do that for a specific reason and that's to make sure my season one account can regroup with us. Okay, there we go. Now it says head to the canyon. Now I want to blow up myself. So then when I actually respawn, my season one account will spawn in right next to me. This first part was exactly how we did for the Karuma glitch. Because pretty much my season one account, it walked out of the bank for like a split second and then ran right back in and just hid to make sure they didn't get hit. So that potential cut in the bottom right hand corner stays as high as possible. And then once someone got to the bikes, you blow up the bikes and then you die. So then everyone, as you can see, is going to spawn in right here, including season one account. So the season one account did nothing. And now we're here, which is good. Now this is going to be a little bit interesting. We got the noose on us for a reason. So we're going to get on a bike. I'm going to make sure my other account gets on the bike. And now we're going to head over to a van. We just want to get in a van. That's all we want to do right here. No, no, no. 
Really? Really? No, just die. Just die. My season one account died. Okay, cool. One of my teammates just ran into the back of me. I don't know who that was. Might just be payback. It's fine. Whatever. This is going to be the toughest part about me trying to manage two accounts at the same time. Really, this entire heist, like including the setups, really hasn't been too much of an issue because I could just control it with one account for the most part. Now it's going to take a little bit of coordination. But as long as we get into that van, that van is armored. So we'll be good from there. But yeah, we just have to get in that van. That's it. That's what we need right now so our take went down because this account died oh my god that was almost stupid okay i'm gonna get out with my season one account i'm just gonna get in the back i'm just gonna straight up just get in the back and then my season two account i'm gonna take out a few cops all right so now we are in the van so now we just need to head over to the dinghy we don't even need to head to the canyon like it's suggesting us to so this is definitely the best way to do this i don't know where my teammates going though i honestly wanted to be the one that drove because yeah we're going uphill in a very slow vehicle this is kind of silly okay i kind of reverted the map how did someone die was that the drive that died i wasn't paying attention who got in the driver's seat okay let's try this again apparently i have a candy cane in my hand so yeah i think i have my strategy down at least up until we get to the dinghy so yeah our take shouldn't go further down at least in my opinion i think we should be good as long as everything goes all right yeah, I can't. I'm trying to control one account and then the other. Oh my God, this is so frustrating. I was trying to make sure season one got into the van safely. And then season two was just left to just sit there and die. Hmm, maybe this time my season two account will be the driver. I'll make sure he gets in the driver's seat first. And then my season one account, I'll just throw in the back. Because the back of that van is a lot more armored than the front of the van. Dude, someone just ran over my season one account. <laughs> Bro, that costs us money. Uh, Sir Snacks a lot is not following us and it's not good i want sir snacks a lot to follow us so yeah this is gonna be a little interesting but i'm the driver now so i can head over to where i want to go you can see the route that it wants us to take right here we're not taking that route we're trying to go onto that road on the west coast of the map and just drive north until we pretty much hit the dinghy that's pretty much our goal right now so as you can see this finale can be a little bit tricky i know some people think it's pretty easy it can be easy but the problem is everyone has has to be extremely coordinated. You can't just say that it's just playing straight up easy because it has to be easy for four people. That's the problem. You have to make sure that entire squad can actually go ahead and do everything together. But I mean, even our team right now, we're doing all right. This is the first we've gotten, but one of my teammates is not in the van. We're not very coordinated right now. And one of my teammates is myself. So yeah, once we actually make it over to the dinghy, it's gonna be very interesting to see how things are gonna go because I really only have one person defending my guy to try to get into the freaking dinghy. And that's going to be Hyper Ninja. Because Sir Snacks a lot is on his own quest. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And pretty much, once you get to like right in here, you want to turn off the interstate and kind of go down here. But I want to go a little bit slower because Sir Snacks a lot, he hasn't hit the jump yet. So I kind of want to just eat up time in this ride van before anything else happens. Yeah, there's cops like quite literally surrounding us. Oh, they're even trying to climb up the rock. I'm chilling on this rock trying to wait for Sir Snacks a lot to, you know, go ahead and do his thing. Oh, and there we go. Sir Snacks a lot died. Yeah, no, no. I got to communicate with him somehow. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think my potential cut instead of it being like a million, it's probably cutting under a million dollars now at this point. So yeah, hopefully we can complete it now without taking too much damage so we can still get a good amount of cut. Okay, here we go. We've made it to the van. I need that one to get in the driver's seat. I need this one to be in back here. Okay, we're all good here. Okay, everyone in now. All right, cool. So now I have to do that entire joyride all over again. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Who's that? Oh my God. I can't communicate with him right now because I got to drive. Yeah, that's something else. If you're in the back, do not. And I mean, do not shoot because the guy with the money should also be in the back. If you're in the back shooting, then you're opening up the door, which means you're opening up opportunities for the guy holding the money to get shot, meaning your take will go down. You're completely armored in the back right here. You're completely armored. So yeah, pretty much like what we're doing right now or at least what everyone's doing now. No one's shooting. That's good because there's no threat to us. Even like that one cop right there. Bye. See ya. Just run right past him. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. I think the Pacific Standard Heist takes the most coordination out of any heist in the game. And what I mean by that is you have to coordinate with three other players. So, okay. But you're also thinking like, hey, Dr. Crush, there's also three other heists that need at least four players to do the heist. And yes, but two of those heists, the Humane Labs heist and the Prison Break heist, both of those heists 
heist. Pretty much, there's different roles for all the players. Like the prison break heist, one of the hardest heists in the game for a lot of people. But you don't really have to be too coordinated with each other. You have like the officer and then you have the inmate. They kind of have to work alongside of each other. And then you also have the pilot and the demolition, which they're kind of working alongside each other too. Kind of similar style with the humane labs raid. Two pairs go off with each other and then they meet up and then they fight together. But the series A heist and this heist specific standard, you have to fight with each other pretty much from the get go. Dude, there is no way. Hold on. Did y'all see that? There's NPC civilian. They just ran into the back of the van. And now we're screwed. Or we were screwed. Car, stop. Okay, that was frustrating. I was in the middle of a rant. But yeah, the series A funding heist. Everyone's pretty much working with each other from the get-go. But it doesn't take as much coordination, at least in my opinion. This heist right here, it takes a ton of coordination. This is the longest heist too, I think. Like, this takes a long time if you want to do it correctly. From the original heist, this is the longest heist. All right, so we've made it to this point again so yeah, we're gonna go down here hopefully there's not gonna be as many cops just because i wasn't just sitting here like a sitting duck like i was last time but yeah we want to drive down here and i think how i want to do this is i want my season two account to get out first and then season one will get out okay this is good enough i think this is good enough all right so i'm going to swim over to the dinghy and then all right now my season one account is about to swim over i think i'm the yeah i'm the boat driver good 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 all right season one's in now sir snacks Slot, you gotta get in. All right, let's go. Let's go. We just have to make a sprint for it. But yeah, we just have to make it all the way out to sea. And then once we do, we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We made it out to sea. And there we go. That's an easy, well, maybe not easy, but that's a Pacific Standard heist in our bag. And there we go. Heist passed. Oh, of course, I get platinum. Of course. Of course. All right, so I got 55% of the cut, which is $959,000. And we did have to quick restart a few times, but we were gonna have to do that anyways, just because of the way I had to do it. But that's okay. We completed the Pacific standard heist. All right, so after that heist, we're now sitting on $3,574,000, which means for the finale episode, our final episode of season number two of Loser Luxury, we need to make $6,500,000 roughly, which that's going to be a tall, tall ask. But I am not going to finish that episode until we actually have $10 million in our bank account and are able to purchase the Galaxy Super Yacht. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to stop being broke in GTA Online.